time to take off, take up where we left off. Uh, we've got our cam chains off. Both of our heads are removed. Um, the uh, flywheel's off. The PTO side cover's off. So uh, at this point, we're about ready to go ahead and take the uh, cylinders off and then go ahead and finish splitting the case. This point should be nothing stopping the motor from uh, spinning. So go ahead and bottom one of your cylinders out. Give it a slight tap and it should unseat like this one did. Depending upon how worn your rings are, will determine how easy it comes out. So this is the cylinder that had damage. Um, the uh, air box on this bike had a hole in it and it got water in the rear cylinder. got our cylinders removed. We'll go ahead and come around here and take the starter loose. Starter's got an O-ring that holds it into the flywheel housing. So take a couple taps, take that out, inspect that O-ring. That one's a little dirty, but it's in good shape. And then uh, make sure that you don't lose this dowel pin on the end, the dowel pin on the end of the starter. That's what it uses for alignment. Okay. So at this point you want to go ahead and remove the through shaft. Uh, you'll have two plates that look similar on the front and rear. This is the rear. Um, keep in mind, um, I've seen a rash lately of bikes that are gaining fluid in the transmission and losing oil in the engine. This is the seal that's causing those failures. If this seal fails, it allows engine oil to leave the engine and enter the transmission. The face of the transmission has no seal on it. It uses the same seal to seal the transmission fluid separate. So if you ever start losing engine oil and gaining transmission, this is going to be the seal that you're going to have to change. three tabs on this uh, through shaft seal that allow for you to pry on the 
through shaft seal to pull it out. It's held in by those three bolts and then it also has, uh, you seat it with black Permatex. So, depending upon how much you put on there, and by the looks of this one, I put a lot on it last time I was in it. It'll take a little bit of force to get it to come out. It's not critical that it comes out, but it is critical that it's unbolted before you try to split the, the case. Finally, turn it back down where you can see. At this point, you want to go ahead and inspect your through shaft bearings. Make sure they're in good working order. These appear to have a little bit of dirt in them. This one feels a whole lot better. And then also go ahead and inspect the journals on your through shaft. If these journals get scarring or out of whack, it'll cause your engine to leak oil even if you replace the seals on it. All right. In 09 or newer, I don't generally replace the water pump seal unless it's leaking. But uh, I do need to go ahead and pull the oil filter. 